Are you saying you don't like Squid Game? I never watched it. I have to be honest with you. <laughs> Jeez. That's not good. That's really not good. Wait, that's the guy who dies! Mike! Watch it. Wait, the dogs are nice too. Wait, but Mike is mean. If he's the one, but he might not have been the one who trapped her there. Okay, you're about to break your fucking ankles. That choice moment where you had to choose. I think the other element I don't like in those is the torture aspect. Uh, I I just have a huge disdain for torture. Um, there was a part of playing GTA where you have to like torture the guy, and I was I was not doing well during that. I just I absolutely do not like torture. I don't I. I I, I it really upsets me. I don't know. Certain things like just the they're just like get under my skin to a point where I like I can I can feel okay about a lot of things, right? And I can even make jokes about things like not everything bother I'm I'm pretty good with having not letting things bother me too much, but torture just really bothers me. Danger. I mean, uh, I don't know enough about Squid Games. It's part of the game. Yeah, like I said, I'm not. I'm not upset. I'm not. I'm not. I almost wanted to close the game out, right? Because I, I really don't like that saw style thing. Uh, but if it's the only part of the game that it's like that, place on planet Earth. then I think that's okay. Oh, 1954. I think that's okay. Oh, it must be a crawl space. Which means that I should go check this thing out. Okay. Then then I'll, I'll continue the game. I, I like the game so far. But if the game, the rest of the game was like that, then I would, uh, I would most definitely not play. Huh. Wait, I didn't check out that crawl space. Can I go back? Oh, maybe not. I'm not good with horror. I'm, I'm genuinely the worst with horror. <laughs> Don't go in there, don't go in there, don't go in there, don't go in there. Good. What are you gonna do? What went on here? I don't know. Let's go check it out. That's part of the 1954 part of the game. <laughs> this guy got it. This guy got curious and completely forgot about his girl. She was kinda bitchy though, so. Valid. Oh! Look at that. 1922. 
that's the only kind of, okay. I'm not, I'm not, uh, and like I said, I, I like the game. I, I like it. And for a horror game, uh, that's pretty rare for me. I don't usually like horror at all. That's weird. I think the only that's horror I like is like a psychological horror. Rescue of the Mines. January 5th Miner Rescue. Oh, they gotta prep the beds. Press is gonna be in attendance. They're trying to give the best possible care. No visitors. It would look bad if they let visitors in. Interesting. You'll need a nose peg. Those guys smell awful. Huh. Shock factor, and then add to the plot. I agree. Summer Games 58, it's a great game. The devs are a bunch of other psychological horror. Really? Okay. I'm good with psychological horror. Like, any- I like, a. I love Jap uh, Japanese horror. Like, mythologies. This is a... person I used to watch called- or this, uh, podcast I used to watch called Koabana. Oh, shit. I didn't finish exploring up there. Damn it. Oh, I guess I'm going down here now. And it talks about, like, Japanese modern-day horror, and then she has, like, a mythologies one as well for, like, older horrors. And I really like... I like that. Uh... A lot. I'm okay with atmospheric horror as well. It's just it's just gore. I shouldn't have been so honest. I didn't know that. I didn't really know what was going on in this game. That it was like Taylor making the jump scares for me, which I think is very interesting. Uh. And I I like that aspect. I think they're also probably making something for all types of horror fans, and that type of horror is uh, a type of horror that people do enjoy. Oh, is there nothing down here? There has to be. What's the point? Maybe I come back later. Okay. Came too early. Oh shit, I can't go back out. <laughs> I'll kill when you come to her. <gasps> oh, I can't go back out. Oh, that's different. How? This is the hole that you literally looked down. <laughs> we were just here a minute ago. <laughs> um, buddy, you lost? Alright, let's go this way. Also don't I don't really wanted to take a peek inside. Oh. Okay. I want to say like I don't judge other people for enjoying that the the things that I like that. Like I don't think that it means that y anybody who enjoys that is like a creep or a weirdo or anything uh negative. 
clocking mining cards. I see. Okay. Alright. I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> I didn't want anyone to feel like... Uh... Like... Like it means anything. I'm a creep. Meg. The way you play at Outlast actually uh, was phenomenal to me. The fact that you could play and not a... Uh... Oh, Cliff found. Huh. Smashing the camera lens is kind of uh, useless. Unless... Oh, unless it's to make it so people can't take a picture of what happened at the thing, of course. Oh, this is Outlast Ed's. Let's go this way where the bats came from. Doll? Doll? Hello? I have all the time in the world. Interesting. Oh, I kept it! I didn't even know I could keep it. I could keep certain things I didn't even realize. Six. Reporter got. Oh! That explains it. The reporter tried to cover what was happening, got their camera smashed. Seems as though they were also uh, assaulted. Maybe just the camera smash was the assault? Who knows? Unfortunate, full of inquiry. <laughs> yeah, okay. We had no idea what. We had no idea this could happen. What? Uh. There's nothing on the back, I think. <sighs> this area of the game is so realistic feeling to me. This might be the most uh, horror vibey. Most like Outlast vibey. Even Maybe even more high quality than Outlast was. Our follows the initial state of the 12 miners that were collapsed. On the report, 12 patients sanatorium. Thankfully, emancipated shells of men, starved and confused. Thankfully, the miners were cognate and healthy. Her discovery of the emergency food supply in the mine inhibited, inhibited respiratory function was detected. There were few older men. As predicted, there were symptoms of pneumonia. Psychologically, after being trapped for 23 days, the shock and reintegration has become difficult. Oh no. They dedicated a wing to the sanatorium. Wow. Kept under observation 24 hours. This is a long time ago. 60 years ago? There's no way somebody, uh... Wait, what's over here? There's a door. Can I open? It's closed off. I think this game is worth the sixty dollars. Um, huh. 
Maybe I should grab that knife. Oh shit. Yeah, good idea. Gross. Ugh. Good. Can I keep it? Hello? Nice. gonna get scared again. Alright, nice. <gasps> In the sanatorium? Shit. Oh. Straining chair. Here? I don't know. That's scary though. There's a lot of restraints. Twisted fuckers like the watch, I guess. Hmm. Whenever I'm sta stared in like that, I feel like there's something I should be able to do. Like I'm missing a piece of a puzzle. that be in, an, in a hospital? Every time I'm playing this guy, I get the fucking totems. Did you notice that? Like, 90% of my totems found are on this guy. I think, uh... Any... The way... The rule that I've been hearing is... Well, that I've heard before. It's not necessarily a rule for everyone, but I, I picked it up as my own rule. For game pricing, a dollar a minute. I feel like it's fair. Oh, there we go. I'd be willing to... I'd be willing to pay a dollar a minute for a game. A dollar an hour? Wait, an hour maybe. That, that might have been the rule. An hour? Holy shit. Yeah, I'd be willing to pay a dollar an hour. A dollar... Yeah, a dollar an hour. That must be, that must have been it. Oh, it. This is... What could... How many days did they keep us here? Who the hell would it... Eight days. A dollar an hour, sorry, sorry. One dollar, one hour. A dollar a hundred hours? Bro. Ironically, the games that you have to play the most amount of hours are usually the ones that are free. Dog? I'm not afraid of dogs. Dollar an hour. I think it's fair. Well, this place just gets better and better. This reminds me of the hallway for, uh... Why does that keep spinning, though? Is this supposed to be ghosties? It reminds me of the, of the hallway from, uh... What am I trying to say? Outlast. Yeah, the Outlast hallway. Oh, that's this is the other way. It's a view. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> My brain ticket is this. <laughs> My brain.
brain did not take it the right way. I'm gonna be honest. I did. <laughs> uh, shit on a shingle. Fucking hell. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is this what he was feeding them? I don't care, I'm doing it again. Am I supposed to do something here? Because there's no option to do anything. I just kept spamming eggs just in case. Trusting any of those from now on. What's up, Chatterbox? Hanging out? <laughs> Dude. RP! Pulls the entire thing out for no reason. Alright, deceased. Lacerations to the abdominal. Huge injury. Too much blood loss. Violence, homicide. Laceration. Sections of intestine and kidneys were eaten by attacker. Uh, some things looked like homicide a long time ago, but then they found out later that it was actually just animals. So, I'll take it as maybe that. Animals? Uh, 
I don't really like this, but I'm going for it. Nope. Wait, there is a clue. Oh, maybe I should, uh, by the way, my bad. I'm sorry, sir. Oh. <laughs> Stares a dead body <laughs> intensely. <laughs> my bad. I, uh, thought it was, uh, I thought I could put him back. Uh, unlucky. Feeling so upset, he spaghetti about this game. Why does that have to be so scary? I think I'm supposed to have some sadistic uh, excitement about the people who are. Watching other people get hurt. I will not play it. I will watch. I will play the whole thing through. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like the meme. Okay. I'm this far in. There's almost a. Uh... Isn't this a quaint little psycho crib? There's almost nothing that will keep me from playing now. Finishing. I think I'm like, probably like 80% done, right? I think by my calculations, I'm supposed to end at like 12 hours of streaming. So like two and a half hours or something. 50? Right, back in here. Fifty? Halfway? Oh, I fucking... Are you kidding me? Why am I so slow with video games? I am just on a different level of slow. What the fuck? I have the keycard now.
No, I only paused to talk to chat during that one scene. Every other scene I've progressed. Yeah, but if I don't just one tap it, then I have to delay the uh, torture. I'm so sorry. That's a good boy. That's right. Easy. Oh. Hey, I'm not so bad. All right? Acquired taste. doesn't like me easy boy easy that's a good boy that's right wait there was a totem that told me I could pet the dog nope see I'm gonna try it. The totem told me, but I'm gonna try. I but I kicked the dog. That's a good boy. That's right. Easy. It's the same. Oh. Fuck. All right. Hey. I'm not so All right. Bad. It's the same. Acquired taste. I kicked, I got, I thought it was the, I'm gonna be real, I thought it was the pet. I thought I was petting him when I, when the thing came up. It was just an option. I didn't know it was gonna hit the animal. So. Uh oh. Is there a way to check and see if there's bullets in it? I'm gonna pretend that I have the capability of uh, knowing how many bullets are in a gun without checking. So, he's a smoker. Just like in the thing. Right there. This is the guy. Caves. Mike finds all the guns and he finds all the clues. Every clue is just my clue. And I feel like I've had to play him the most when he's my one of my least favorite characters. Oh. I guess I'll keep the wolves fat and happy. Yeah, good idea. Steal it. Okay. Should I shut this? Can can these characters learn how to be a little bit more uh skilled? With their hiddenness? Like bro, he's never he's never hidden his like position at all. Hold on, I'm gonna go give this to the dog I kicked. Hello, kicked dog. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Are you mad? I'm sorry. Status update. I'm 
sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. Easy, boy. Easy. Hey. Boy. That's right. Friend. Good. I'm going to collect one more bone. If I can. Oh, okay. I can only steal one bone. Hey. That's open. So Mike is the one who's gonna die in the cave. Fucking freak. Who found? Doesn't necessarily mean he's bad. Liars? Ten flippin' Killed by unknown. Fourteen missing in the mountains. Wendigos. Okay, so he's like a cryptoid crypt a cryptoid guy. He's a he's a big footer. Is there any other way, bro? Minus one bullet, I guess. Just tied to Bigfoot? Jess died to something pulling her, and we happened to see that guy who was there. I mean, she possibly died, I don't know. But it doesn't- just because they are next to each other doesn't necessarily mean causation. Miracle man. Correlation does not equal causation. You can use like a a big rock to break that lock, I think. Guy was hunting Bigfoot? And he's very openly in cryptoid guy and he lives inside of this area. He does have the traps, which is weird. But it's a trap with a hand on it. And if you were thinking that these Cryptoids were interested in body parts, and you were, I don't know, grave robbing? It's hard for me to say. I'm trying to see if if he's a, I still don't forgive you? I don't give a fuck. I'm trying to figure out a way to where he's not an evil maniac. Of course. Locked. And move this shit. Oh, really mad. Again? Every weapon this guy gets is, is so useful. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm dead. Bro, are you stupid? I'm stupid! Now this guy... Wait, he is a bad guy. He's the groundskeeper. Hey, it's locked. The hell who did that? Then there's some seriously uncool shit going on up here tonight. I can't believe Josh is dead. Chad, get over it, bro. No, I mean, what if they were wrong? What? Maybe we should have checked the shed to see if it was really true. I, I don't know. There are some things that once you see them, you can never unsee them. Yeah, I guess, but some things you have to see for yourself. I'll take their word for it.
Look! An axe. I feel better with an axe. Axe was not there before, you were right. Oh, what now? This is locked, Matt. We'll break the door down, will ya? Whoa, wait a second. We start smashing shit down, he's gonna hear us. Well, you got any better suggestions? I don't know. Who's he? What about. Look! How do they what? know? A window. <laughs> That's great, Matt. I can just about fit my lip prom through that little slot. Oh, come on. You will never fit through there, big guy. <sighs> I won't fit, but you will. Are you nuts? You're gonna shove my ass through that little hole? <laughs> you slip into some pretty tight jeans, Em. Uh, excuse me? It's a talent. Fine, let's do it. Bro, it's not even that small. <sighs> it's actually not that small at all. Bro, you can literally see! It was huge! She's such a baby! It's pitch black. I do not like this. I'm right here, Em. I can't see anything. There's so much crap in here I keep bumping into. It's okay. Can you find the latch? Uh, anything? No, Matt. I think there's spiders in here. Be careful! Black, you dip. Hey, I'm I'm just trying to be helpful. Almost. <laughs> Almost. Ugh. Oh, wow. I did it. Good job, Em. You rock. You're okay too. That was good. We did good. A plus plus would buy again. Oh. <sighs> Damn. This is crazy. We were here just a few hours ago. This must have just happened. How what many the people they have working on this place? It's gotta be the guy, the, the one it's who gotta be more than one person. Ash and Josh? He's gotta know this is the only way back. I don't say that. Look, the cable car's all the way out there. Well, that's I, I mean that's not far, right? You you can jump it? <laughs> I'm good, Em. But not that good. Flattered, though. Well, Matt, if you can't jump that, what are we gonna do? I, Shimmy? I don't know. Wait, I, I thought we shut that so door. Did we not? I think they knew exactly what they were doing. True. You gonna stand right here, I guess. Wait. Someone hmm. really did a number on this joint. Such a mess. This place was barely in working condition before, and now? Why was the first thought they had jump it? Like, why wouldn't they think this place? Ah, uh, you need a key. Great. No keys, no cable car. So, back to square one. Matt, we, we need another plan. We can't just sit around and do nothing. Hmm. Of course, a painting. Okay. Cable car. There's a ranger path. And I'm guessing there's something in here I need to find. What? Hey, look! Oh. Fire tower. <laughs> huh. Oh, just be like fire watch. Fire tower will have like a, a radio or a phone or, or something. It might. Well, it's not like we have any other options. Probably, yeah. Matt, we gotta get to that radio. It 
It was my idea. Why is she pretending like it's her we idea? Can use the radio to call for help. But somebody's got to pick up the signal. Oh, well, someone's learning to play by the rules. What? What, what rules? Rule number one: Emily is always right. Oh, I should have picked the other option. Because Emily is always right. Uh huh. Hmm. I would say that it might be a good idea to grab that pack or those snowshoes, but it looks like I have some sorrels on, so I'm okay. Smart. What is she doing? Oh, hold up. <laughs> What's cooking? Good looking? <laughs> Getting us out of here, Mr. Meat for Brains. boy you're coming with me buddy and just like magic come on down we can totally get out here this way you're right I could have had it end right there thanks maybe um, you should go first to protect me how is that protecting you? I'm sorry, chat. Okay, easy now. The one time I remember which button square is. Oh my gosh. Okay. Almost. Almost. I'm feeling kind of faint. Don't look down. Whoa. Okay. Okay. I can't believe I remembered which one square was for the first Holy time. Holy thank God that's over. And yeah, I didn't. For real. <sighs> Locks in a wall. <laughs> Something push. What if it doesn't work? What? The radio. It'll work. But if it doesn't, we need a plan. Maybe we go back? We can just climb down. Climb down what? The what? mountain? Are you serious? In a snowstorm? What's the big deal? It's not like it's floating in the sky. Bro. It might as well be. It's pitch black out. You're better off finding a cave hey, and just chilling. If the path is just going to give up and run away. No. But maybe we should find... Or going spot. in the house and sitting... Yeah. Up, wait it out. Yeah, I agree with that. It would be a lot easier to figure this all out in the morning. Exactly. As long as we don't hide in the lodge, that's where he expects us to go. I think he expects us to go anywhere because I'm pretty sure there's cameras on this mountain. If you find a, a cranny in them, like a nook and cranny. There is another option. I said I saw him. We saw on the map. No, I think nah. This place is pretty abandoned. But they wouldn't have built a place like that on a mountain without some emergency contact to the outside world. Hey, what's in here? Yeah, I mean, you might be right, but I have no desire to go spooking around in that place. No, she, she's right on that. What about right here? This could be a nice hunker down. <gasps> oh my god, it's probably the cell phone. <gasps> There's no way it still works. No Whoa, way. This is phone. I thought the police like swept the whole area. No oh, way. Like they missed this. Well, too bad her brother's dead, so I guess we're not going to be able to do anything about that. Okay. You just chill right here. End the game. End the game right here. Just sit there until the daytime. Like when I played Fears to Fathom 1 and I accidentally won the game just by AFKing. <sighs> Wait until dawn. 
It was a really... She's she's literally in the way. I cannot... Can you move? Thank you. Watch where you step around here. Yes, Matt. Given the choice, I prefer not to spend my evening plummeting to my death off the snowy cliff top. Oh, okay. Very cool. Why did we walk this way then? Because this is where the girls died. The twins. Sporadically. Kind of weird. <gasps> don't go that way. Don't go that way. Don't go that way. Oh my god. Danger is what it is. Uh, I thought there might be a better way out. Oh no. Does she have like zero Hello? sense of uh knowing when somebody's close to her? Guys. <laughs> Everyone else is dying what and going through these murders there? and she's just soaking in the bath. And creepy. Why are they even torturing her? She was the only nice one. my clothes? Why am I so stiff? Why didn't I dry off my whole body before walking around? Why didn't I lock the door? Oh, Pete's sakes, my clothes, really? Whichever one of you did this is off my Christmas list. Seriously, not cool, guys. Not cool at all. Let's just go back in the bath. Fuck it. Drop the towel? Nah, you guys are weird. Chris? Josh? What the hell? Did everyone just leave without her? Uh, <laughs> uh, hello, bro. There's no, uh... Guy's just sitting there with his special balloon. Uh, not really sure. Okay, try again. Start from the beginning. Up 
here. Okay, down one, through, down one, I guess. I'm going all the way over. I can't believe it. You guys are acting like it's uh, popped up with a option. There's only... Read the room, Aiko. What am I supposed to fucking do? Just, just have it work? It's right there? Where? Right where? Show me. Right there? Right there. Just look at it. It's right there. Oh, just look at it. Okay, hold on. Let me just look at it real quick. One second. Top left. Okay. Top left. Yeah. All right. I also saw top right. Hold on. Yeah. I'm looking top right. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Good job, guys. All right. Very funny. TLB. No, you guys are so funny. Center. Try to. Okay. Let's try looking up and down. Do I hear movement behind me? Did I already find this one or something? Hold on. This is Bunny Totem. I found this one already. Oh. Nice. <sighs> Oops. Let's go this way. Chris, Mike, Emily, this is really getting out of hand, okay? It was all very funny, haha. -ha. Look at Sam walking around in a towel, but now I just really want this to be over, all right? I can't see shit. You had enough? If my theory is correct, it's like they got the horror f dad, right? Can I have my clothes back now, or am I supposed to hang out in a towel for the rest of the weekend? <sighs> He's like the, the filmmaker. When somebody dies, like, they have some, I don't know, 500 IQ plan for it. Then torturing this girl is, like, the most fucked up part. And she should not forgive any of them. Because... What the fuck she do? She was, she was great. I like her just completely ignoring the weird balloons. Okay. Is this a hallway? I'm fucking blind, bruh. No, they didn't- they- I don't know. Okay, hear me out. <laughs> they set up a fire, played with the Ouija board, and they played 
like they they went off they were making what friends here they're like doing crazy shit going off on adventures and it's like bro why oh. why not just turn the power on you know and oh no no can't turn the power on Oh, but the TV works now? Are you guys in here? Super glued towel. You in the kitchen, cooking something up? <laughs> All right. There's only one area to go. Okay, if you were trying to freak me out, guess what? You succeeded. See, this is why you don't make friends with people who want to play pranks all the time. Then when the, the serial killer comes out, you're just... You're just fucked. You never know who's pranking, who's serial killing. Oh, there's a TV. And the lights? Where the hell are you guys? Everybody took off when she took a bath. Oh, this is weird. Hey! Guys, come on! Oh, I'm done with this! I really don't appreciate the silent treatment here. Hello, Samantha. Do you want to play a game? Looking for me. I don't think you'll have much luck what the, by looking, what Samantha. The hell? You're only going to see what I want you to see. And I have... Quite a lot to show what you. is going on? Open your eyes. Okay. Oh my god. She's quite beautiful, isn't she? What are you doing out there? A beautiful oh, bathing boy. Why, why Do you she... think she has any idea what lies ahead? Do you think these were the last happy moments of this creature's why life? Why are you showing this to me? Why are you watching? Don't 
I was very sad. I thought I got her killed. Wait. What did the totem say about this? It said... No? Fuck. And this is for... Fuck. Visions of help and guide. Okie dokie. Then I will go this way. I didn't know it could tell me there's all the right choices. Oh, nice. Well, that certainly didn't go according to plan, now did it? Yes, it did. Such careful, brilliant plotting, and yet in a crucial moment you are foiled by your own inadequacies. What do you mean? I told you, everything you do has consequences. What does that mean? Do you think this mistake won't have repercussions? What? What do you do, and what you say, causes things to change. Yes, all the good work we did exploring the source of your fear. And you've just gone and used it for ill. <gasps> what? Mm -hmm. Your overwhelming fear of failure. You have turned it against these people who you so desperately want to torment. No, I don't. Has it been worth it? I'm not afraid of failure. I actually like failure. <laughs> 